Hey guys, welcome to a mid-season update where we will be covering the best comps in 2v2 for every class. We have consulted with some of the best players in the world to present you with the best comp for each spec, updated for patch 9.0.5. With that in mind, we have a question for all of you. Sometimes people criticize 2v2 and say it is too imbalanced. Of course, there are some matchups that seem really hard and there are definitely both hard and soft counters in a bracket, but we want to know what you think. What has been your experience in 2v2 this expansion? Do you like it? What do you think the best comp is overall? Let us know in the comments below. Before we get into the video though, we wanted to tell you about our videos at skillcaps.com slash wow. There, you will find guides for every class, including course guides and matchup analysis. Our videos are made by some of the best players in the world and are designed to improve your skill and rating in PvP. Our matchup analysis involves 2v2 breakdowns using insight directly from the minds of pro players. If you're looking to learn a new class or if you want to elevate yourself to the next level on your main, be sure to check out skillcaps.com slash wow today. Joining our website will give you instant access to all of our videos as well as an invite to our premium Discord server. Starting off our list are Death Knights, and no matter whether you play Frost or Unholy, your best comp is playing with either a Resto Shaman or Resto Druid. Playing with a Resto Shaman might be your most consistent option due to their incredible mana efficiency, but Resto Druid works well, especially since Resto Druids are really durable in 2v2 against other melee DPS and are unmatched when it comes to their ability to get drinks. Demon Hunters have been heavily slept on this entire expansion, and one of the places they shine is in 2v2, especially with a Restoration Shaman. DH is unique in that it is the only class in the game with a mana burn. Mana Rift can be used in combination with stuns to slowly drain the mana bar of an enemy healer. Combined with the mana efficiency of a Resto Shaman, you can win the mana battle against other teams. On top of that, given that the Hunt is one of the hardest hitting abilities in the game, its damage can be modified even further with Sky Fury Totem, giving you huge one-shot potential. Moving on to Druids, your best comp as balance is likely playing with a Holy Paladin. Because you are so reliant on setting up kills with Root Beam, having a stun for the kill target during this setup is really effective. You can also help cover one of the main weaknesses of Holy Paladin, which is their mana, with your Innervate and passive tankiness. With that in mind, you could also play Tooth with a Resto Shaman or even a Holy Priest and have great success. Pharaoh Druids are one of the strongest specs in 2v2, and with many of them switching to Necrolord, their sustained damage must be respected. Your best comp as Feral is with a Holy Priest who offer really good single target damage to complement your dots. Adaptive Swarm combined with a draft of Deep Focus Legendary allows you to do insane dot damage and your off heals and control help cover some of the throughput weaknesses of Holy Priest. Restoration Druids have a few comp options, and your strongest comps are either with a BM Hunter or with a Mage. The primary strength of these two comps is that you have amazing CC chains by following up Freezing Trap or Polymorph with Cyclones. BM Hunters offer way more consistent single target damage while Mages give you more control, but both options are really good and perform well against the meta. Another strong comp option is Druid Warrior, which is a really strong attrition based comp, not winning with CC setups but by gradually wearing down enemy mana. And speaking of Hunters, your best comp no matter what your spec is playing with a Holy Priest. Holy Priests are by far the best healer in 2v2, and their damage and control synergizes well with the Hunter Toolkit. You can get really strong CC chains on enemy healers while doing high single target damage along with your Priest. All specs of Hunters are really reliant on your pet, and this weakness is really obvious in 2v2. So make sure your Priest knows to keep your companion alive and you are sure to do well as this comp. Moving on, we have Mages who have the strongest pure double DPS comp in the game. If you haven't guessed it by now, Rogue Mage is one of your best comps in 2v2. It does really well into most meta teams, having tons of control and burst with the ability to easily reset fights. The main weakness of this comp are Holy Paladins and BM Hunters, who have good tools for countering the burst and reset strategy of Rogue Mage. If double DPS isn't your thing, your best options are playing with a Holy Priest or Resto Druid, both of which synergize well by offering more control and damage. Having a Psychic Scream or Cyclone to follow your Polymorphs opens up a control-based win condition that is unmatched by other comps. Although it hasn't been represented well this entire expansion, the best comp for Mistweaver Monks is an Arms Warrior. Simply put, Warriors cover a lot of the weaknesses of Mistweaver with their defensive toolkit. On top of that, Mistweavers can play with Song of Chi-Gi in 2s, giving them a long CC chain along with Paralysis and Leg Sweep. Along with the constant damage Warriors bring, your goal is to win the Attrition War in 2v2. Windwalker Monks do really well with Holy Paladins in 2v2 because of how well Paladins can cover the weaknesses of Monk. Windwalker Monks are relatively squishy on their own, but with Paladin Defensive Rotation, they have a lot of options to cycle through in 2's games. Aside from this, Holy Paladins offer a reliable kill setup for Windwalkers with the ability to use Blinding Light or Hammer of Justice at the same time as Leg Sweep to get reliable ghosts and enemy teams. 
Moving on to Paladins, Rhett has a few calm options for double DPS and a really solid choice of playing with a Holy Priest as a healer. We are sure you're thinking right now, Holy Priests seem to be everywhere on this list. And well, it's because they are the best healer, so they pretty much do well with everything. Having ranged CC with Chastise, you can get consistent kill setups cross CC and kill targets with Hammer of Justice. Between the Rhett and the Priest, you have lots of ways to remove or avoid CC, but your primary weakness in this comp is not having a Mortal Strike, meaning you are heavily reliant on your cooldowns in order to score kills. If you prefer to play double DPS, you have a few different options, with Mages or Sub Rogues probably being some of your best choices. The damage, burst, and control of these classes synergizes well with your cooldown damage, and you can provide some defensive coverage with your off healing. With that in mind, you can also play with other hybrid DPS and do well, since DPS off healing is really strong right now in the meta. If you play Holy Paladin, you have a few good options, but your best bet is either with a Windwalker Monk or an Arms Warrior. Once again, monks synergize well with Holy Paladins to their reliable cross CC setups, and unlike other healers, Paladins do really good bursts with Divine Toll, Holy Shock, and Hammer of Wrath. This lines up well with the burst damage from Monk and the consistent damage and Mortal Strike from Warrior. Moving on to Priest, Shadow has a few different double DPS comm options. But just to be clear, Shadow Priest isn't that great of a spec overall in 2s, getting outclassed by other DPS in the bracket. With that in mind, if you want to play double DPS, Shadow Priest works well with either Fire Mage, Feral Druid, or Warlock, though these comps can be really demanding for the Priest and your mistakes get punished easily. Alternatively, if you want to play with a healer, your best comp is likely with a Resto Druid. Druids offer you some additional control options with Feral Affinity, as well as coverage against melee with Ursal's Vortex and Roots. In any case, your 2's options with a healer are fairly limited as every game will likely be an uphill battle. Holy Priest has already been mentioned a few times on this list, and while having a wide range of strong 2's comps, your absolute best comps are with either a Hunter or a Fire Mage. Once again, your damage and control synergizes well with these classes, with Hunters offering more consistent pressure and Fire Mages giving you better burst windows and overall control. Every spec of Hunter works well with Holy Priest, but the best is Beast Mastery followed by Survival. This priest has fallen off quite a bit since the Rise of Holy. Despite being designed as the damage healing spec, it actually does less damage than Holy in Arena. With that in mind, this works best with BM Hunter. If it wasn't obvious by now, BM is one of the best specs in the bracket and your win condition is to follow up tracks for extended CC chains on healers, while your Hunter does huge consistent damage. Another option is Windwalker Monk, and while they are relatively squishy, they have really high burst damage, which synergizes well with the control and damage from disc priests. Next on our list are Rogues, and if you play Subtlety, you pretty much have one reliable composition for twos. Once again, it should come as no surprise that Mage Rogue is your best option. Unfortunately, Sub Rogues are not designed well for 2v2 with a healer. They are really squishy and just get out damaged and outperformed by other DPS in longer games. Mage Rogue plays into the strengths of Subtlety, being designed around control and burst. Once you get your rhythm down with a good mage, you will find yourself doing well against most comps in 2v2. Unlike Subtlety, Assassination actually does well with healers in 2v2, and your best comp option is either with a Resto Shaman or Holy Priest. Assassination does some of the highest consistent damage in 2s, and thanks to the Necrolord Covenant actually has a bit more durability, allowing them to do continuous pressure. Resto Shamans offer some additional offensive support with Purge, and even have some damage support with instant cast Lava Bursts. Moving on to Shamans, for both Elemental and Enhancement, your strongest options with when playing with a healer are either with a Holy Priest or Holy Paladin. The stunts and damage that these classes offer give you really reliable kill setups. But if you want to play with a DPS in 2v2, your best options are with another hybrid DPS, ideally a Red Paladin or Feral Druid. Together, you can do some amazing damage with your burst, while having the defensive coverage of off heals for each other. Resto Shamans do well with most melee DPS, but your most well-rounded comm option is with an Arms Warrior. With the mana efficiency of Resto Shaman combined with a constant pressure and defensive toolkit of Warrior, your win condition is to just outlast your opponent's mana bar. Another alternative option is playing with an Assassination Rogue or Demon Hunter, though these are much harder to find and don't have as good a matchup spread as Warriors. One of the specs slowly creeping up in popularity are Destruction Warlocks, and although they get outclassed by many other meta specs in 2s, they work best with a Holy Priest or Resto Druid. Both of these classes give Warlocks a stun, allowing them more reliable setups with Chaos Bolt. Resto Druids and Priests also give Warlocks some additional mobility options, with Priests having Leap of Faith and Druids having Roots and Snares to control enemy melee. The same applies for Affliction and Demonology, where your best comps are with a Holy Priest or Resto Druid. Holy Priests have the additional threat of Mind Games, which is really punishing in the late game when used alongside Unstable Affliction for a deadly combination of Dispel Protection. And last but certainly not the least are Warriors, who pretty much work well with any healer but do exceptionally well with Resto Druids. 
With all of the melee healer comps in 2s, one distinct advantage Bresto Druids have is how durable they are against physical damage dealers. Their frenzied regeneration healing combined with Necrolord defensives allows them to be passively tanky, and if that wasn't enough, they have the best mobility out of any healer for avoiding melee damage entirely. And if that still wasn't enough, they are the best healer for reliably getting drinks in 2v2, meaning they can simply outmana other teams while their warrior gradually wears them down. Once again, you can do well with pretty much any healer, with Holy Paladins, Resto Shamas, and Holy Priests being alternative options. And there you have it, those are the best comps currently for each class in 2v2. With the season halfway over, we want to keep you updated on any meta changes that happen, especially since 2v2 is the most popular bracket. And with that, we want to say thanks for watching. And if you liked this video, make sure to give it a like down below. And if you want to stay up to date on future uploads, make sure to subscribe and turn all notifications on. That way, you will never miss a video. See you soon!